Hey everyone, we are going to review the six different types of surface area problems that you will see this year. We've done total and lateral surface area of cylinders, rectangular prisms, and triangular prisms. So let's start with cylinders. I'm going to start by finding the lateral surface area of the cylinder. The formula for that is just 2 pi rh. So all I need is the radius and the height. Let's start out by shading our basis. And then I'm going to circle my height that connects the bases. And again, for our lateral surface area of a cylinder formula, I just need the radius and the height. The height I circled, it is 15. They gave me the diameter. So I'm going to have to divide the diameter by 2 to find the radius. And 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. And now I have everything I need to find the lateral surface area of the cylinder. I just do 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is 2.5, times the height, which is 15. So 2 times 3.14 times 2.5 times 15, that is 235.5 centimeters squared. Okay, total surface area formula is similar. I find that curved rectangle with 2 pi r h, and then I add in the two bases of pi r squared. I still need the same two things, the radius and the height, to be able to find the total surface area using this formula. So let's start by shading our circular bases. And then I'm going to circle my height of 4. So now I have both things I need for the formula. The radius is 0 0.75 and the height is 4. So now I'm just going to plug into my formula. 2 times pi, 3.14, times the radius of 0 0.75, times the height of 4, plus 2 times 3.14, times the radius of 0 0.75 squared. So 2 times 3.14, times 0 0.75, times 4, plus 2 times 3.14, times 0.75 squared. And I get 22.37 meters squared. So that was surface area of cylinders. All we need for that is the radius and the height. Now we're going to get into our prisms. Remember capital P is the perimeter of the base, so I have to calculate the perimeter of the base. And then the capital B is the area of the base. And to find the area of a rectangle, we do base times height or length times width. And then the area of the triangle is one half base times height. So let's start out with this prism right here and I'm going to find the lateral surface area. The formula for that is perimeter times height. So I will need the perimeter of the base and the height of the prism. So let's identify the base and the height. I'm going to use the bottom and the top, which makes 0 0.8 inches my height since it connects the bases. So I'm going to write down 0 0.8 for my height, and then I'm going to cross it out because we're not going to use it in this formula again. The last thing I need is the perimeter of the base. So I need to find whatever 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 6 is for the perimeter of the base. 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 6, that's 7 plus 7, which is 14. So the lateral surface area, perimeter times height, will be whatever 14 times 0 0.8 is. And 14 times 0 0.8 is sorry 11.2 inches squared. Okay, now let's find the total surface area of this rectangular prism. So I'm going to do pH plus 2B. So that means I will need the perimeter of the base, the height of the prism, 
and the area of the base. So let's identify our base. I'm going to use the bottom and the top as the bases, which makes 20 the height of the prism. And now I'm going to cross it out because I'm not using it again. Now I need to find the perimeter of the base. So I will do 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10. And that's 15 plus 15, which is 30. And now I need to find the area of this rectangular base, which I do by multiplying the length and the width, which are 5 and 10. So I'm going to do 5 times 10, which is 50. And now I have everything I need to find the total surface area. I have the perimeter, it's 30. I have the height, it's 20 and I have the area of the base, it's 50. And now I'm just gonna plug them in. Perimeter of the base is 30 times the height of 20 plus two times the area of the base, which is 50. And 30 times 20 plus two times 50 is 700 centimeters squared. Okay, now we're moving on to triangular prisms. Remember, prisms are named after their bases, so our bases are always triangles. So I'm gonna find the lateral surface area of this prism, which is perimeter times height. So I'll need the perimeter and the height. And I'm gonna shade my bases, which are the triangles. And that makes the height of the prism three, since three is the distance that connects my bases. Okay, now I just need the perimeter of this triangular base. So I'm gonna do four plus seven plus 11 to find the perimeter of the triangle. And four plus seven plus 11 is 22. Okay, so now I'm gonna do perimeter of the base, which was 22, times the height of the prism, which was three. And 22 times three is 66 yards squared. Okay, last one, I need to find the total surface area of this triangular prism. So I will do pH plus two B. So I'll need the perimeter of the base, the height of the prism and the area of the base. So I'm gonna start out by shading those triangular bases. And that makes the height of the prism 12, since 12 connects my bases. So I'm gonna write that down for the height and then I'm gonna cross it out. Okay, now let's find the perimeter of the base. It is going to be 10 plus seven plus nine. So perimeter will be whatever 10 plus seven plus nine is, and 10 plus seven plus nine is 26. Okay, now I have to find the area of the triangular base. Remember the area of a triangle is one half base times the height, and the base and the height are the sides that form the right angle or the measurements that form the right angle. So that means that nine is the base and then that makes six the height of the triangle since those are the two lengths forming the right angle. So to find the area of the triangle, I'll do one half times the base which was nine times the height which was six. And one half times nine times six is 27. All right, so now I have everything I need for the surface area formula. We need perimeter, I have that it's 26. We need the height, I have that it's 12. And we need the area of the base, I have that it's 27. So let's substitute in. It'll be 26 for the perimeter times the height of 12 plus two times the area of the base, which is 27. So 26 times 12 plus two 
times 27 is 366 feet squared.